Intelligence is sort of required uh, for this last film. Not a documentary, though. We're back to normal. Whew, thank goodness. You know, so no more of the acquired taste, so we can dumb down our taste buds. Take a look at this uh, new film from Cloud 10 Pictures, which is The Genius Club, uh, starring Stephen Baldwin. Uh, this picture is actually uh, taking a look at bringing the, all the intelligent people of the nation, apparently there's only seven of them, into one room and then trying to discuss the conundrum of the world's problems. I know, I said conundrum, didn't I? That's a big word, obviously, and there's still some intelligence floating around. So take a look right here from Cloud 10 Pictures, The Genius Club. Well, this is great. One minute I'm delivering pizza, next minute I'm trying to solve the problems of the world. You have a very big mouth, Rory. A very big mouth. Perhaps you aren't a genius. Huh? Let's play ten questions right now to find out. And if you solve this riddle, you'll continue with the game. If you lose, all of you will die. Ten questions. Here's the hypothesis. A man walks into a bar and asks for a glass of water. Bartender takes out a gun, boom, 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 and shoots at him. The man says, thank you, and walks out. Only Rory the genius can answer. The rest! Can you repeat the riddle? A man walks into a bar. He asks for a glass of water. The bartender takes out a gun and shoots at him. The man says, thank you, and walks out. Why? Well, did the bartender kill the guy? No. Now you have nine questions left. Well, did they have some kind of a previous disagreement? No. Eight questions left. Well, the bartender, did he shoot at him to try to kill him? No. Seven questions left. I got it. The bartender shot at the guy so he would scare him because he wanted to cure him of his hiccups. Very good, Rory. You came within seven questions of losing everyone's life. Very good. Don't disrespect me again. Am I clear? Just don't play with this guy. It's not a joke. I've seen the bomb. I know what he can do, okay? Don't the whole city. Who is this guy? Yes, you do, Brian. Stop lying. Shall we continue with the game? You wasted eight minutes of your time already. Now you must get to a thousand poisons. By sunrise, or I will detonate the bomb. All right, well, that was a clip from Cloud 10 Pictures, The Genius Club. To be honest with you, coulda, woulda, shoulda. It just missed the mark. I know what they were after and what they wanted to accomplish, but it didn't work. Uh, the uh, story had a lot of holes in it that just bothered me. Uh, you have a terrorist who puts together the seven most intelligent people of the world who all happen to be American, and they all happen to be living in D.C. And so they pull them all together into one room to solve the world problems. Uh, the issue is, though, that they never really have a problem to solve. It's more like the terrorist gives out riddles that they have to figure out. And if they get it right, they get points for this game. That, and if they get it wrong, well, they don't get points. Now, if they get a certain number of points, the terrorist promises not to blow up the city. 
Uh, and what bothered me was there was never that question about would he really blow it up or would he really stay to his word and you know not blow up if they don't get to those questions. Anyway, but that wasn't just that was just a little tiny bit of it. A lot of holes in the problems, holes in the stories that I had issues with. Characters weren't as strong as they could be. Uh, when you have this one room dramatic story uh, that follows, I think of like the Breakfast Club or Reservoir Dogs. Those stories are very character driven. This one, the characters weren't really strong enough. They didn't start shining till about an hour into the movie. And the problem with that is we're an hour into the movie. You know, I've, I've lost interest. You got to hold me from the beginning. And uh, now Stephen Baldwin did an excellent job in his role. Unfortunately, I thought he was really miscast. Uh, now, in fact, the uh, shining star in the film is Tom Sizemore, who plays the terrorist. Did a great job in it. I have to give this one though three stars out of five. And uh, well, that's it. We'll be right back with more of Show and Tell. <laughs>